All right, here we are on the battle map. Ooh, it's such a flat plane. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. This is ideal. <laughs> so, looking at the enemy army comp while uh, the battle was loading, I don't think they really have us on many categories. If anything, they have us on mobility. They're definitely going to be faster. Uh, but their horses look fairly light. I think they're more skirmisher variety horses. And they definitely have us on missiles, I guess, but like that's not going to be a big factor for me. I'm just going to kill them with cav. Um, you know, they have us outnumbered on cav unit to unit, but my cavalry is more heavily armored than theirs, I do believe. So I think my cavalry is going to be superior and going to edge them out in the cav fight. Uh, and especially if they charge this left flank, they're going to get shot all to hell with Pila, or uh, Javelin Precursors, rather. I forget the exact model of Javelins these use. I think they're Javelin Precursors, right? They might just be Javelins. They sure look like Precursors. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Had jabs. So, uh, we definitely beat them out in the infantry formation. So this nice wide hoplite line, as always, it's going to do wonders for us. I don't think they can beat any unit one-on-one. -on -one. I don't. They are swords, so they're going to do more damage than we would like. That's that's a thing. It's something to keep an eye on. But I'm actually going to spread these uh, archers out a little so I can use them a little more. You know... That way I can get arrows where I need. That should be good. Can't see shit. Let's move up. Yep, he's asking them to face an army of Gauls. Fantastic. Hello, bird. You're looking awfully polygonal today. <laughs> Let's just speed up time. It's going to be a bit before we actually face these Gauls. Love the cloud effects. Those are nice. I think they were added in pretty recently, weren't right? Like a few months ago? I just remember the toggle wasn't there for quite some time. Ah. Tangos. These are their medium missile cavalry. And let's take a look at them. Yeah, they're not armored at all. So they should be a lot more vulnerable to various charges. They're missile calves, so they're going to be a pain in the ass to chase down. But I think my Tarantines will be up to the challenge. Tarantines being a byword for quality. I think it says that in their description somewhere. Uh, they're definitely angled wrong. I'm not a fan of that. Unless they're more spread out than I can actually see. They might just be spread out. They, the rest of their line might be here. Uh, let's just advance the line a little bit and angle just a bit. See if we can spot the rest. If they are indeed on this axis way further out, which I think they are, because the calves on the wing. Yeah. There we go. That's fine. They're just on a slightly different axis than my army. Not a big deal. Let us match their axis a bit better. Something like this should work. Mm, there should be another wing over here. Okay, they got their spearmen in the back. These guys look relatively high quality, I guess. They have some armor. Medium. There's the general. Hmm, he's chosen the right flank. He may charge into my Skirite and create a very long fight, depending on how many jabs they hit him with first. Let's go ahead and advance. Where's their other cav unit? Huh. Yeah, I don't see them. They, they're, they're missing a unit of cav. Maybe out here, maybe just back of the line. I don't know. What are 
these? Like long bows? No. Short bows. Okay. Either way, I don't like the fact that I'm not seeing it. Where are those, uh, the Torres? Those are clubs. Karatavas. Wealthy, but no armor. They just have pants. <laughs> he who controls the pants controls the galaxy. Let's continue to move. Not the cav, though. I'm getting shot at. I'm not a fan. Of course, they do outrange my helots, because my helots are helots. <laughs> what do you expect? What do you fucking expect? I mean, I can engage in the skirmish fight, I guess. They are shooting at hoplites, of all things. They're not going to do much damage. Okay. Ooh, heavy phalanx infantry in the back here. Interesting, they're like short pikes. Interesting, I'm not used to this style of unit. Are they actually like short pikemen? Huh. Because they're not like my hoplites here. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. Let's uh focus these telemores. What are you doing? That does not appear to be the order I gave you. What? Okay, you're shooting the right unit. Did y'all see that? It's because I ordered all of them, I guess. Here, there you go. I target those. In fact, uh, get in front so that you get targeted properly. I gotta watch out for these units. They're definitely pretty core. They've got good reserves set up, too. It'll be kind of hard to get around their backs and shoot them. We haven't really taken any casualties, though. We lost, like, one or two men here and there. The helots don't count. <laughs> ah, there's their other caveat. Oh, so they're very heavily stacked to the left, which is not really what I wanted to see. I'm gonna move my general over to... Oh, no. Never mind. I'm not gonna move my general. What are you doing? What are you doing there, Mr. Valo? That's one. Can't make up his mind. Alright, I'm gonna move my general over to the left flank. And he can deal with some of that. Not the worst idea, inherently, to use your Hippaeus. They're good at their jobs. 10 out of 10 hoplites would hoplite again. I'm not feeling particularly comfortable about the skirmish fight. They do have me on the skirmish factor, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get a reaction out of them, yeah? Let's advance. Yeah, let's advance. They've uh, readjusted the general. Is he coming in for a charge? I will stop my phalanx line, if so. There, that fixed their grouping problem there. They're shifting. Shifting a little much for my taste. Let's keep pushing up. Ah! Here's the move I was looking for. Not ideal casualties at all. Okay, they backed off. Gotta do a bit of micro here. Get into skirmish so I don't have to micro you, please. Move. Move. Flank. Don't let them get a good flank. Or if they do get a good flank, that's fine. Just counter it, please. Okay, we're winning that skirmish over there. General's back there still. There's their flank. They've got us pretty heavily flanked on that flank. Okay. How many times can I say flank in one sentence? <laughs> that many times, apparently. It's fine. That sucks. Just keep them occupied. I'm moving the general up to help. Not ideal at all. Get out of phalanx because you're surrounded. Get some attack orders off. Make sure that my units are actually focusing those who they need to focus. Charge into those backs there. 
Archers, just do your fucking jobs. I don't care. Um, actually, stop shooting. You're wasting your arrows. Move over here. Get this flank. You get that flank. Okay, they're not really fighting properly, these missile cav over here. They're going to charge into my backs, unfortunately. It's okay. We'll be okay. Alright, there's a good back charge there. Routed their missile cav here, at least temporarily. Get another back flank there. They're only shaking. That is not good enough. Check this flank. Yeah, they're still not doing anything. They're just preparing for a charge without doing an actual charge. It's damn teases. <laughs> okay, there goes the general. Make sure you engage him. Wrathfully. Get out of phalanx. You're not being useful. You too. You're surrounded. Okay. Ah, deal with that, please. Halats. Oh, there's the charge I was afraid of. That sucks. Uh, no, he's not even in range for that rally. That's unfortunate. We might lose that Skirite. Come on, dude. You're surrounded on three sides. We need to kill that general. Can you push in further and kill that general for me? Shoot him. Shoot Valo. Kill him. Thanks. Gracias. I feel like I'm losing far more cav in these charges than I should, but it's because I'm charging into spearmen. Ugh. Disgusting. And General has decided to leave the battle. Alright. Let's snipe him, then. Let's get behind him and snipe him. Skirite are holding their own, which is surprising, but good. Skirite have decent morale. Like many other Spartan units, one of my favorite things about them is they, they hold for extraordinary amounts of time. I have to charge those. Look, they're pulling them back. I don't know if that's to counter my cavalry, if they're just... Oh, come on! Route him! Route him! My archers all just ran out of ammo. Back up. You back up, too. You're still in skirmish mode. Oops. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Uh, you stop pushing. <laughs> Alright, chain route has begun. That was rough for a minute there, but I think we, we, we got him. We got him well in hand. Here, all three of you tackle that cavalry. Alright, what's going on with my cav? They're doing all right. Uh, yeah. Looks like we're not going to kill the general. Let's see. He might come back. Still kind of unfortunate on the right flank. Let's see if we can break this. Is there heavy? No, they're just heavy melee infantry, mostly. Okay. I do need to chase these routing guys off the field, or at least stay close to them so they can't... You know, they don't feel like coming back so much. Because they will. There we go. Yeah, I lost a good amount of cav in those charges. Unfortuitous. It happens. Ah, see? Look, they came back. Oh, those are the Singetis. Unfortunate. Snipe that general. Kill him! Look at us! Bring him down! <laughs> Let's make sure everyone's actually engaging people. I'm having trouble paying attention to everything. Okay. Did not get a kill on the general, I'm pretty sure. At least I did not see a notification about killing him. Let's see. I don't see him out here. Where is he? Maybe I missed it. But I do not see him. Okay. Whatever. Uh-huh. Yep. Figures. Arius, move out there. That's not Arius. That's a uh, Perseus. O oops. How rude of me. Okay. Uh, he's going to need help. Maybe. Probably. 
A couple of you get out there. See if they need a hand. Actually, I should really be moving people to the right flank. I've taken plenty of casualties there. More than I would like, by far. Here, I don't know. Just stack in there. Even you, Hell, it's... You're, you're gonna be fine. I promise. Oh, wow. We're not getting many kills on the routers here. That's not great. Uh, it was a pretty small battlefield, really. They should be able to chase down those heavy phalanx. They should be slow. Finish them off, please. Fuck. <laughs> Just a little knot of resistant dudes. It's fine. They should go down in a sec. Excuse me, I sneezed my lung is out, and as I was reaching for the unmute button, knocked my mic around. Oh, God, save me from the allergies. This season used to be so good for me, and now it's horrible. Help. <laughs> Send help. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, because all of these warriors are so fast, I just kind of have trouble chasing them down without more cav. I need to switch to a four cavalry setup. Definitely. Two is not enough for these kind of armies, I think. Against other Greeks, sure, but not against Thracians and Celts and Gauls. Did I call them Gauls earlier? I think I did. Oops. Oh well. They'll survive. Or will they? <laughs> okay. Speed up time. Chase them off the field. Uh, my archers might be able to catch some of them. We'll try, I guess. I really don't feel like I got many casualties as they went off the field. It is unfortunate. Not as many as I'm used to, by far. I'm used to killing most of the army. Does not seem to be the case this time. What? No. <laughs> eh, that should do it. Alright. Not heroic, really? That was a heroic victor victory? I, I, I guess. I mean, who am I to argue with Rome 2 Total Wars? system here. So I lost about one-seventh of my army. Uh, and, you know, they lost about two-thirds. So, I mean, I definitely have the better of the vic uh, of them. The better victory, sure, but... I don't know about heroic. Decisive, definitely. Because this this army is definitely still capable of taking on a second army, by far. They'll have some trouble, but uh, this war can definitely be over next turn. I think their army will still be up, though, because they still have a couple of units that are just fine. But we'll see. Yeah. Uh, just enslave them. As per the usual. Now that's an interesting choice. I could chase them into their territory further, but I think I'd rather replenish. I do, I do. Now how do you Sordisians feel about that now? How's your power rating? You still think you're amazingly more powerful than I am. Interesting. Okay. Sure, I mean, you're entitled to your opinion. Uh, so I could fortify... I can't reach the city to replenish there. Replenishing 16 hoplites per turn. Yeah, okay. I 
No, I think we did okay with the setup we have. Not replenishing the cab very quickly, of course. I'm just moving back and forth all over the Hellas, changing my mind <laughs> about everything. And we're just losing so much cash because I need my troops to replenish, and I don't have any way to let them replenish without not taxing anybody. Fuck. I mean, if I, I wish I like, I wish I knew exactly where it was coming from. I guess it's just that I have multiple tier two settlements. I don't think these cost any food yet. I don't think they ever cost food. Yeah, it's just all the tier two settlements. That'll do it. That's okay. Ready for battle. C'est la vie. Are you ready to uh, serve? You can get me some more helots, I suppose. Give me more warm bodies to throw at them. I'm not a huge fan of losing all my cash. Oh well. We practically need to expand just to get more farms. <laughs> it's a damn tragedy. I can't even tax the one place. Which, to be honest, this doesn't make much sense to me because supposedly I'm only using two food here. Oh, you know what? It's because I'm being raided. I'm a damn idiot. That's why. Okay. That makes sense. Wow, that's really annoying. Athens, do you guys want to, like, take care of this before I stab you in the back later? It looks like they're actually doing it. Thank you, Athens. <laughs> Please do that so my empire doesn't go broke. Thanks. That's a good chance. Yeah, awesome. So they won't be able to run away next turn. So, idea, replenish, wait for next turn. They may attack me with both armies. If they do, who gives a shit? I don't. I'll actually have some support from my uh, <laughs> my shitty helots. Yay. Shitty helots, sure, but Akartad is here with his bodyguard. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, you know something I would love to see? I would love to see the total kills of a unit. That'd be really cool. All right, let's end the turn and be sad about all of the cash that I'm blowing through because I'm a terrible player. <laughs> and we'll see what the Sordisians choose to do. Uh, there's a good chance they will take the bait and uh, attack my army under Perseus. Yep. Sure. Makes sense to me. And they think they have an excellent chance. Uh, let's take a look and see what they have. It's even worse than the previous army. They still have these Batores. Well, no, no, okay. It's basically the same army. Yeah. Yeah. Same army. Uh, they have less of a missile advantage than last time. All they really have going for them is that secondary army up there, so... And we have the advantage of fighting from within a fort. Okay. Oh shit. We're 24 minutes in, so I'll see you guys on the battle map. Same as last time.